Welcome to Exploring Our Parks, a series brought to you by the Montana Audubon Center. Each episode, we'll be learning about different parks in and around Billings, activities you can do there, and the wildlife you might see. Today we are exploring Phipps Diamond X Park, better known as Phipps Park, a 350-acre natural area managed by Billings Parks and Rec. Phipps Park is located on the west end of Billings past the Ironwood subdivision with a parking lot located right past the railroad overpass. Common activities include hiking, trail running, frisbee golf, and biking. As you walk up the main trail, you will notice a kiosk highlighting the frisbee golf course that brings many people to this amazing park. The fall course will be covered in a later video about the upper trails. Today, we will be focusing on the lower trails to the left or east of the sandstone cliffs. These trails are much flatter and a little easier walking than the main trail many people know Phipps Park for. As you're walking, you will probably find some animal scat on the trails. Coyotes and fox are known to leave their scat on trails to mark territory. If you look closely, you can actually see fur in the scat. They are probably eating the many different small mammals that call this area home, including mice, rabbits, and prairie dogs. As you continue to walk the flat trails, you will find a fence post with the trail curving to the right. Once you pass the post, the landscape opens up and provides expansive views of the sandstone cliffs and grasslands beyond. A common plant found at Phipps Park is yucca, recognizable from its pokey leaves and large flowering stalks. Watch out as you're walking. The flower petals are edible and generally bloom in early summer. Alma Hogan Snell, a crow medicine woman, mentions in her book A Taste of Heritage that the petals make a nice addition to salads. Additionally, Linwood Talbull, member of the Northern Cheyenne tribe, often mentions that you can make soap out of the root juices of the yucca plant. Other than the yucca, you might find sagebrush, prickly pear cactus, or even a rare pincushion cactus. Aside from plant life, there is an abundance of animal life, including insects and birds. As you walk along the trail, you are likely to find a species of tiger beetle. Right now, they are mating. Another draw of Phipps Park is the prairie dog town, found at the end of the lower trail sloop. Prairie dogs are incredibly important to the natural world. One of the main reasons for this are the towns that they build. Living in colonies, they create intricate tunnel systems and burrows. These prairie dog towns provide habitat for many other species, including jackrabbits, toads, burrowing owls, and rattlesnakes. Unfortunately, due to human encroachment, the historical range of prairie dogs has shrunk by 95%. As you're walking by, you're likely to notice the curious gazes and warning barks of the local residents. A fence will mark the edge of the trail, and at this point, you can choose to turn around or head toward the sandstone cliffs, making this hike into a loop. You will also see large sandstone boulders that can provide a great natural playground. As you walk along the base of the cliffs, look up. You are likely to notice cliff-dwelling birds, including ravens, rock pigeons, canyon wrens, and more. Be aware of rattlesnakes who may choose to sunbathe in the path or surrounding rocks. Overall, this loop takes me about an hour to walk. You can always extend it by taking the many other trails that branch off of it. As you may have noticed, there is not much shade, so you are encouraged to bring water. So why not grab a pair of sneakers and head out the door? Thanks for tuning in to Exploring Our Parks with the Montana Audubon Center. Join us next week as we head out to a new park found somewhere around Billings, Montana.